dive into Jesse's treasure trove, where every piece speaks mysteries. Jesse's oddities beckon. Get yours today. Hey guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about a family that moved into a new house and found the creepiest set of rules that they had to follow. This is insane, and I could never imagine owning a new house and finding a note like this. By the way, before we get started, do you guys like my shirt? It is so cool because it's a bunch of different shirts put together as one shirt, and then there's Jack Skellington on it. Like, are you kidding me? It's definitely way too big for me, but I didn't even care. I'll wear a blanket. That's fine. I mean, look at the arms. <laughs> also just wanted to mention that last week when I brought up the Adopt a Gummy Bear new products on our website, you guys sold them out in one hour. One hour. Um, so thank you so much. I have decided because of that we have restocked it one more time. So if you guys missed out on the Adopt a Gummy Bear and would like one, I have linked it down below. Just a little reminder, they come in four different colors, four different little cute houses. And it's so cool because they're almost like slime, but they're not. They go back into their original form. They are so cute, so fun to play with, so fun to display. And if you would like one before they're sold out this time, I will link it down below. And if you like like the whole gummy vibe we also have these glitter jumbo gummies um these come in four different colors i have to show you these because honestly these are just as fun if not more fun to play with okay so it's a giant gumball gummy just like you might find at willy wonka's chocolate factory okay watch this guys this is so satisfying. I love these things because like I said, it's like owning slime that never gets anywhere and that always goes back into its original form, okay? It's like a crystal ball. I can see my future in this. So these we also have for limited time only. Oh my gosh, how do I stop playing with this? If you would like one of the four colors, I have also linked this down below and it's heavy, okay? It was heavy. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Also, the background will be changed the next video. All right, so I want you to just close your eyes and imagine for a moment that you just moved into a new house, okay? You're so excited to arrive for the first time. You run through the door, look around the house. It's beautiful, it's old and vintage, but wonderfully so. And then you run into the kitchen and find a note written on the table. Now, this note was put there by the previous owners. It has scrawled writing in pencil. And the note is a list of rules that you must follow while living in your new house. And it's not a usual list of maybe how things work around the house. These are very sinister requests. Now, I wanna know, when you first see this, do you plan on following the rules? Or would you rip up the note and throw it in the trash and say like, hey, this is my house, I'll do what I want. And maybe before you answer that question, you'll wanna know exactly what these rules are. Because like I said, a family did move into the house and these are the rules that they found. Do not look into the bathroom mirror past 1 a.m. It will not be your reflection staring back at you. When leaving the house, leave quickly. Wait to put your shoes on until the door is closed and locked behind you. Leave crackers on the dining room table before bed every night. It gets hungry. If the brown haired doll moves from the right side of the white room to the left, pour a line of salt in the doorway. Do not try to take the brown haired doll out of that room. She will get angry. If any paintings around the home have been turned upside down, burn them. Sleep with earplugs in if the whispers disturb your sleep. Do not be alarmed if things aren't where you left them. Calmly leave the room, and when you return, it should be back. If you hear someone asking to come in from outside between 3 and 4 a.m., do not open the door. Pretend to be asleep and keep your eyes closed until the pleading stops. Keep in mind they may imitate voices you recognize. Do not stare into the basement mirror for more than 10 seconds. It may try to get your attention, or worse, come out. If the television turns on by itself between 8 and 9 p.m. and plays only static, ask out loud for forgiveness. Then 
proceed to fill a glass with salt and place it on the floor in front of the television. A black box may appear in random spots throughout the house. No matter how much you may want to, never remove the lid. Do not peek past the shower curtain until the water has been turned off. If the closet door is open upon waking up, calmly close it and leave the house immediately. Do not return for 24 hours. The tissue boxes will replace themselves. We don't know why. If you return home and any of the candles in the living room are lit, leave the house immediately. If any piece of furniture has been turned upside down, leave the house immediately. If the woman's painting appears on the wall at the top of the stairs, leave the house immediately. Do not turn off the hall light before the bedroom light has been turned on, and do not stand in total darkness. Always knock three times before opening the basement door, and if something knocks back, leave the house immediately. And above all, if you wake up between 3 and 5 a.m., do not look out the windows. If possible, close all curtains before bed. This was the mistake my grandfather made, and we still haven't found his eyes. You're kidding me! Okay, I don't know about you guys, but if I found this, I would be immediately calling up my realtor and asking for a refund. Like, I know I already signed these papers, we're already in this process, I don't care. You come here, drive me out of this place, and give me my money back. Like, if you think for a second I would be sleeping in that house after reading that note, you are surely mistaken, my friend. And you know I like creepy things, but this? Uh-uh, this is too far. So out of curiosity, like I said, if you found this note, if you would stay just to see if these people were telling the truth, comment the ghost emoji. And if you would leave right away and go show everyone this note and try to get your money back, comment the house emoji. Now I better be seeing so many house emojis, okay? I wanna see them all through my comments because that is the correct thing to do, come on. I remember when I first moved into my first house back in, was it 2017? I was just looking around the house and I did find creepy pictures drawn on the walls in the basement. If anyone remembers that video or time in my life. You have been here a long time. Love you. Long time V team member. Okay. I, but you can probably chalk it up to the previous owners having kids that just wrote on the walls, but those uh, pictures were very creepy and I didn't understand it. And yes, I did continue living in that house, but it wasn't a creepy note filled with creepy instructions. Okay. So at least give me that. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like me doing creepy pastas like this about like strange rules to follow last time we did like pool rules and stuff. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you would like to adopt a gummy bear, if you would like one of our jumbo squishy gummies, I have linked everything down below. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Children lost, ensnared by a witch's binding spell. Jessaline, the awakened soul, yearns to escape and find a new home. Dare you join her and explore more?